Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much to Gianni, Christian, and um, Francesco for, for the invitation. I think it's, this is a great initiative. Um, uh, and again, it, it's about you know, bringing content to the audience. And I think it's, uh, it's something that we, we do from a user group perspective uh, and this having this small group uh, and, and given this new normal, uh, uh, it's it's a great added uh, value to the community. Uh, and and when I talk about you know user groups uh, and and the value of the ACE program, is bringing you know these in, enhancing and and improving uh, both us from a professional perspective, individual professional perspective. We all want to grow our knowledge. Uh, but you know, not just that, because that's the value that we're bringing to our organizations. Whether you are an Oracle partner or you are an Oracle user, uh, you are bringing value to your organization. So it's it's a win-win situation, and I would say win-win-win. Uh, we 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 love what we do of talking about products, tools that we work on a daily basis, um, and and you know this this session. Um, you know, as I, I was talking briefly uh, before we I started, uh, it was based out of conversations with with Oracle users, with companies uh, that, like me, they have been using the products for over years, and and they ask, okay, so what do I do with this? Can I use this to get the solutions of that? Right, so. This is a you know it's a it's a it's a summary of the you know some of the products the existing products uh, in the application space and what you're going to see here it's talking about apps okay so all the products that are related to apps okay we're going to talk about technology because everything is based out of technology right but the, the idea is to go through that a um, little bit about me. So I'm located uh, here, you know, uh, in Argentina, and I was surrounded by in, in these sessions with uh, two smart ladies, Debra just before me, uh, and and Uma, um, you know, that it's it's right after my session. Um, we're ACE directors uh, and and our specialties on applications. We've been working with. Uh, applications technology for many years. In, in my case, uh, I started, you know, coding uh, for eBusiness Suite when it was character mode. Uh, and over the years, I've been playing with different technology. I co-authored a book on eBusiness Suite. I also was a technical um, editor for, for Fusion applications. Uh, uh, funny, but I, I started with Fusion applications uh, talking to um, uh, uh, now it's a VP of, of Fusion Financial, Fusion ERP, and he sent me a hard disk with Fusion to do the installation. Uh, that was version like six. Um, uh, I'm based out of Argentina, as I said, uh, and you know I, I I've been working with the user community locally. You know, co-founder of the user group in Argentina. I was four years president of a Latin America Oracle user community. Um, and I was just recent, recently named as a board of director for the Oracle Applications Technology User Group in the US. Um, so very involved, I see the value of sharing knowledge and, and coordinating this event. And, and Gianni, Christian, and, and Francesco, they have been doing a great job, like, you know, putting all this together. Uh, um, and and thanks to the sponsors, but again, it's it's a lot of work, volunteer work, to bring that knowledge to you. Um, I work for a company, and one of the things the, the, you know in, in this company, what I do is I wear two hats. Um, one is running internal uh, uh, IT, uh, which one of the things that I do is take our own medicine. So I we use Oracle products. I mean, we use other products as well, but mainly Oracle products. And, and with these Oracle products, we were using, we were using eBusiness Suite. We implemented Oracle Business Intelligence applications. Uh, we ran 
uh, discoverer. We, you know, we've been, you know, doing this evolution. Um, we just, you know, uh, started using Oracle Fusion applications, and we are in the process of working with this new latest product, which is Four Fusion Analytics Warehouse, uh, which is specific for applications. So, you know, it's it, the company. I've been with this company since we were about 100 and something employees uh, in, since 2006. Uh, and we've been part of this evolution. We were, you know, doing this journey with Oracle uh, in terms of, you know, how Oracle is creating and moving towards cloud. We have been doing that. Um, just a recognize, you know, we've been recognized, the company has been recognized by Garner in the niche quadrant for Oracle services. Now, having that introduction, um, I'm going to talk about you know uh, a, a quick definition of each product and what what is this product? What's the purpose of each product? What's the status of these products? But the first thing to learn is you know what is you know based on the foundation for you know that driven work by IDC 2018. You know what is the the key challenge? Okay. So out of you know 81% of you know the, the 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 struggle that every organization has is with managing the data, or is searching, preparing, and protecting, then 19% is analyzing. Okay. Um, and 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 this is this is a key component. This is this is key in terms of you know uh, the 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 business and our organizations are constantly changing. So we, we constantly, need, constantly need to be adapting to that. And that's, that's that evolution and that agility is pushing us to, to get the data, to search for data, to prepare the data, to protect the data uh, on, on, a, on a constantly basis, right? Now with that, Oracle has been given organizations a set of products. And each product has certain characteristics and functionalities to match certain type of products running that are running and seeding those uh, analytics tools. And let me let me do a quick you know review of the products that I'll be talking uh, today. Uh, on one side, you know we have uh, Oracle Business Intelligence. And Oracle Business Intelligence has been for quite a few years. Um, and one of the products that K Oracle came up after Oracle Business Intelligence and through the acquisition of Seville um, um, was Oracle Business Intelligence Applications. Okay? And with Oracle Business Intelligence Applications, what Oracle did was brought pre-built content, pre-built metadata, pre-built dashboards, pre-built reports or you know, uh, answers to different sources, such as eBusiness Suite, JD Edwards, etc., even SAP. So I we, we implemented this for eBusiness Suite, internal IT conversions and for some customers. And I'm gonna talk about that, you know, what's What's going on with OBIE? You know, briefly, what was the, the 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 focus of that? So we can compare that with all the other products, including the recent product FAW. Then we 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 jump into the technology, okay? And we have the analytics server, ADW, you know, the recent addition, the Oracle Analytics Cloud, okay, uh, which as we move forward with all the different cloud solutions from Oracle, we're going to see that we can have this journey from the on-prem world, the OBIEE on-prem, uh, to different technologies. And we're going to have this different path to go to, into that direction. And we're going to see that FAW, that it's right there on the top of your right-hand side of the screen, it's consist on all these products from cloud products. It's the evolution and it's running on top of all these uh, products. Now we have two, the, two more products, which are the enterprise performance management, 
which is a specific financial solution. And I think that Debra in the, the previous session talked a little bit about EPM um, and, and what is EPM and, and what are the different you know, tools and, and the capabilities that you can take, get from the EPM uh, suite. And the, the last product that we have on the left-hand side of a screen is the Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence. And we're talking about Oracle Business Intelligence. This is Transactional Business Intelligence. And we'll talk about what is really the Transactional Business Intelligence and, and that definition about the real-time insights of the SaaS products, okay? Now, um, when you have two, three kids, right? The last one, the baby, is where you pay more attention. So this is a new product, the Fusion Analytics Warehouse, FAW, which is a pre-built ADW and Oracle Analytics Cloud, which is available to do, you know, certain management level analytics uh, of um, uh, SaaS, ERP, and HCM, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, we'll talk about the, the evolution and what's coming up next in terms. Uh, today, we, we have ERP and HCM as part of this uh, set of products. But this is the perspective. So I'm gonna briefly double click on, on these products. Um, and this is probably, you know, many of you may be aware of, of this solution and, and this product, um, you know, it's, you know, Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, and then the Oracle Business Intelligence uh, application uh, that is running on top of that, uh, which sets all the, you know, the metadata for that. Um, all these Oracle Business Intelligence applications, uh, what, it, what they are really doing, it's, you know, bringing all these pre-built and extensible. And one of the things that we talk and, and you know, uh, for, for many of you that you probably have experience and implemented Oracle Business Intelligence applications, extending, you know, and, and, and creating your own or, or changing your um, uh, ETL with custom tables from EBS and Suite, PeopleSoft, or, or the, the source product that you have, it was not as easy uh, uh, as, as, as you can imagine, but that was extensible, okay? You have you know, all the pre-built RPD that will give you the chance to connect. Um, one of the very good things that we did with OBIA was running EBC Suite in, 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 in a version and then doing the upgrade to a new version in EBC Suite, which was quite easy in terms of you know, how we could model and change uh, the source of the data because it was supported by Oracle, okay? Uh, now, we also see uh, that you can still use for SaaS applications, okay? And we'll see how that can work uh, in terms of the architecture, okay? Uh, now, uh, what you see there in, in this chart it's uh, the, the, the representation of the OBI EE stack, okay? The BS server reads from a, uh, the warehouse uh, and, and, and have, you know, all these, um, you know, multiple steps uh, to get the, through that. Uh, and one of the things that we, we did uh, with uh, some customers was extending this, okay? And extending the, ad the administration pulling, and, and in our case, we use that internally, you know, extending Discover. And we use that for, especially for, for project side of things, for the project module, you know, and having that Discover metadata uh, to be able to pull reports and, and get that through BI to, you know, have uh, reports out of 
um, you know, the e-business suite uh, through Oracle Business Intelligence uh, Enterprise Edition, which was an extension. Okay, and and that you know that's where I would probably we think of of Oracle Discovery how that fits into these components and all this architecture. Now, what we see today. Uh, in terms of Oracle Business Intelligence applications, we see a variety of deployments. We see OBI, uh, Oracle Business Intelligence applications running on premise. Okay. We also see uh, Oracle Business Intelligence applications running on cloud with a combination okay, of systems that you have on prem, such as CBS running on prem for those who have not moved EBS to cloud, to Oracle Cloud. Um, uh, and then, you know, a couple of things that, you know, what, what would it be the, the hybrid solution where is, okay, I have something that it's on the Oracle Cloud, such as, you know, SaaS, we still have Oracle, um, you know, modules or, or back office on Oracle eBusiness Suite. And then how that, can be working on Oracle Analytics Cloud, okay? And I'll talk a little bit about, you know, this combination and how we can, you know, combine those. That's the typical deployment options um, in terms of what we see in the market today. Now, what is going on with support and, and what is going on with, you know, um, Oracle Business Intelligence applications? Um, there is an statement on direction. You can see that the, the document on my Oracle support on top of that. Um, what we see in terms of, of fees, you know, extended to for fees for different versions um, and, and, and the certification for Oracle Analytics Server, okay? Uh, and what's the plan for operating systems and, and, and so forth. Um, what we see in terms of Oracle Business Intelligence application is the evolution of your own Oracle Business Intelligence application into setting into a hybrid mode, taking the best of the evolution of the tools, the Oracle Analytics tools with you know, ADW, with Oracle Analytics Cloud, and, and merging that, getting your foot on Oracle, uh, Oracle Cloud tools. Now, EPM, and jumping you know, quickly onto the EPM. So this is the, the EPM suite. And where that this fits? Well, this is a true suite of solutions that will give you all these different you know, uh, things around your finance uh, information, which is typically finance information across all the different uh, sectors and, and areas of your organization. Starting with, with connect planning, you know, uh, connected planning. Well, you know, this is, you know, uh, it's uh, um, uh, what you will do with this. It's, it's a built on the best practice um, and it's actually connecting planning profitability and narrative reporting to do what it's uh, called the zero-based planning, okay? Um, we will see, you know, all these strategic modeling and, and, and deploying this enterprise planning for finance, you know, for, for all these, your line of businesses. Uh, and, and of course, doing besides that, you know, the, 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 the aspects of, you know, planning and um, managing uh, your enterprise information and your enterprise and business information. Uh, you know, pre-built frameworks uh, and models and frameworks and, 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 and what is also very important, it's scalability, okay? To support what your company is doing. We'll jump a little bit on, on close, okay? And, and you know, the, the connected financial close. And what we see here is, you know, key aspects of financial consolidation, you know, all the orchestration of, uh, uh, of your close process. Uh, we have seen in customers running EPM and, and running um, um, connected financial close, 
a dramatic improve on decreasing the time of the closing. Okay, whether it's through you know these orchestration and processes, and of course all the automation that can be added uh, to the different steps of your month and close. Analytics and reporting, and this is you know uh, you know reporting that runs on top, and and this is part of EPM, and and when we talk about reporting, we talk about interactive dashboards and, and in a look and feel that's running on top of what we see in terms of, of, of technology and Oracle technology and analytics technology. Um, later on, we see on the intelligence and we, we see a lot about machine learning, pattern recognition, um, NLP, which is natural language processing. Um, uh, we, we see and, and, and just, a few minutes before me, uh, Deborah was talking about digital assistant and how digital assistants are being embedded into the applications and how we, you know, and, and quoting Steve Miranda from the Oracle team, uh, we see HTML as the old UI and we see digital assistants, whether it's through voice or chat. Um, we see that as a new user interface. And that's what we, we see here in terms of the intelligence and automation. And of course, you know, uh, getting all the enterprise data aligned, um, whether it's through you know, consolidation, hierarchy management, um, and, and, and the integration adapters that will, you know, will help you to connect uh, with multiple sources. Now, this is the EP EPM, and the solution that I, 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 you know, we I can talk for hours on EPM, but it is a, a, a brief um, summary of the different tools of EPM. Now let's switch into the the, the EPM on-prem, okay? And what's going on with with EPM and Hyperion um, and the different versions of EPM? And this is what we see uh, today in terms of what's the current status, you know, EPM release 12 um, and the uplift of FMW uh, release and the repository simplification. And, you know, we see that combination and many companies that are running on-prem and they are asking to ask experts about, okay, so what do we do? You know, how do we jump on that? And this is what we see, this combination of EPM on-prem versus cloud. Um, uh, we see companies that are moving the on-prem to Oracle, to, to cloud infrastructure as the first step. Uh, uh, but of course, we, we, we see a lot of benefits uh, and it will depend on, on how you uh, and the, the culture of your organization and, and the, the, your journey, how you plan your journey to the cloud, you're gonna be you know, moving forward with this. Um, um, a key aspect is the, the innovation, the process innovation and how your organization uh, will be taking this step forward uh, with innovation uh, that, you know, with, SaaS application with cloud SaaS applications, we see that innovation uh, coming in a much faster speed than what we used to 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 do and what we used to 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 take advantage uh, in the on-prem world. Um, let me switch gears a little bit to transactional business intelligence quickly. And, and you know, what we see here is, you know, you have at, at the bottom, we have fusion applications, okay? And, uh, and what, it, what actually Oracle did with the transactional business intelligence what was creating these layers on top of, you know, we, we don't have in, in Oracle uh, Fusion applications or, or SaaS, we don't have access, direct access to the database, okay? Uh, so what Oracle did on that was creating these uh, layers that allow us to access and to view uh, the different objects um, and, and to have them 
you know, the, the only way to access to those objects was through uh, these, you know, these layers provided by Oracle. So it's actually, you know, uh, 9,000 reportable data objects that are uh, organized into functional areas. Um, and with that, uh, you know, uh, just to give you an example, uh, uh, specifically for globalizations or, or legal and statutory requirements, the way that we are working and, and you know, integrating data through Oracle Integration Cloud was pulling information out of you know, the transaction business intelligence. Um, so that's what we see, you know, uh, again, it's, it's reports executed in real time through these layers that are running on top. Um, now, does it has the magic, the, you know, all the, the business intelligence or analytics magic? Well, you know, what, what Oracle is doing on that, it's just adding the layer, okay? And, and pulling, making you available. So when we're talking about Oracle business intelligence, and I wanna give you this you know, example that I gave you regarding Discover, uh, when, when talking about Oracle you know, business intelligence, enterprise edition or BIAE, and what we did with, when, when implementing Oracle business intelligence applications and having that layer of Discover, well, it's kind of, doing that with fusion applications okay just give that layer you set up um, in the rpd the, the the layer to connect directly to your database now the challenge here is that you cannot have a direct access to the database the, the fusion database so that makes a little bit thing things a little bit different now that's what, what we have to do, and we have to use those layers built by Oracle. A couple of things on, on transaction business intelligence, and, and one of the things that you see here, it's the embedded uh, security and, and how you run and how your users, based on the security and the roles that they have, they will have embedded access to that. You are accessing transaction business intelligence through Oracle uh, fusion applications, okay? And that, that makes all the magic on how you navigate through that. And what you see here, you know, and, and for those who are using OBIEE and have, you haven't seen, you know, Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence, you know, it looks very similar, right? So the look and feel looks very similar in terms of subject areas and catalog and, and the views, etc., and the compound view. Um, so what you see here is, you know, transaction business intelligence in action, you know, running, um, you know, one, one of the seeded reports, um, you know, benefits, rich real time transactional data. Uh, also, you know, uh, ad hoc analysis, we, you know, one of the things that, you know, it comes, it, it comes with a lot of pre-built content or transaction business intelligence out of, of fusion applications, but, we also have to think that it's not all. So in the projects that we are working on, you know, whether it's you, you're comparing Oracle Business Intelligence, Enterprise Edition on your e-business suite or PeopleSoft, and, and it's the, the, the product and, and, and all the, the dashboards are quite different. And you have less work, you know, le less uh, reports, less dashboards, so you need to, fill that gap a good you have to work on an analysis of that um, now brief summary of um otbi uh let's let's jump into technology a, a quick uh, uh, wrap up on what's the oracle analytics and we have these three main um you know aspects of that and just jumping into the analytics for applications so we have the analytics cloud the analytics server and what is this new product so we can jump into this new product the analytics for applications okay now uh, what is this coming from and 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 you know what you see here it's on the bottom you have the oracle cloud applications again which we didn't have access to, you know, all the tables. We don't have access to the database, right? So we have through Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence. But what you can do on top of that 
you you were able to build uh, and extend that through Oracle Analytics. But what Oracle has brought to us was the ability to have using the autonomous data warehouse and the analytics cloud, bringing package analytics applications for Oracle cloud apps. Okay, uh, and we see you know these different um, buckets of ERP, HCM, SCM, supply chain management, and CX. And there's another red one that it's something that we can extend with any source. Okay, uh, so three main things here. You know, you you can maximize the value of your SaaS application. Okay, with pre-built content, um, you can speed up the time of getting that up and running, and then of course you can later on extend to fit your business need with your own data sources, with your own custom applications, with any source that you consider necessary, okay? So let's jump into this, you know, what is the Fusion Analytics Warehouse, okay? And specifically, we, we probably have seen this in the past of, okay, you know, what's a, yeah, the, the, the time and effort of building from scratch and what's the time and effort of having Fusion ERP Analytics? You know, built, um, and and I'll give you a couple of, in in a few slides. I will, you know, uh, uh, detail you, you know, how that. What are the steps of getting to work fusion specific fusion ERP analytics? Okay, uh, and then of course we how we we will able to extend that, uh, and this is you know the pre-built best practices and KPIs, and everything on this is based on the best practices. One of the key things that we, every time that I go and talk to a customer is, you know, the, the, the change in the mindset of the users of moving from, okay, this is my organization, this is my business, this is how I run business against, well, these are the standards, the industry standards and, you know, how you can speed up, be more agile moving from your own customized e-business suite to a SaaS standardized process. Um, and if you add on top of that, the, the best practices and the, and the KPI and the best practice KPIs with dashboards and reports, that's where it all makes sense, okay? Uh, faster time to value and building and doing it that maintenance of you know, running it yourself and having your, your full, having to build your full from scratch uh, set of tools. Now with specifically Fusion ERP analytics, um, you know, you have, you know, this pre-built aspects of, okay, pre-built KPI, pre-built dashboards, pre-built reports, and then you can implement quickly uh, with you know, uh, Oracle Managed Foundation. And what is very important is that it's synchronized with the Cloud SaaS release cycles. Uh, I was talking about yesterday, I did a, a presentation uh, at the uh, East Coast user group talking about ERP SaaS cloud applications. And you know, many organizations, um, you know, before jumping into the SaaS, you need to be aware that there are four four release upgrades every year. Okay, uh, you know, in our case, IT conversions, we we have we receive a new release in October. Okay, last month, and how that works? Well, the first Friday of the month, we get our test inst instance upgraded. And then on the third Friday of the month, so that's two weeks, we will get the production, okay? And unless there's a, a, a bug flag that is you know, thrown into the Oracle team, uh, those are the two weeks that you will have to test. Of course, there's a lot of documentation beforehand. 
But think about this if you're building your analytics for ERP from scratch, okay? Uh, you're gonna be receiving every, you know, every quarter, you're gonna be receiving the, 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 the cycles, the release cycle with changes. So you have to work on that. So again, the beauty of Fusion ERP analytics is that it's in sync with all the changes that are coming from uh, Oracle and from uh, the SaaS product. And of course, the extension, being able to extend to feed the business needs. A couple of things that we, we will see, you know, monitor business performance, you know, a bunch of KPIs. Um, you see here something that it's called DEX, and I'll show you in a minute in, in, a, in a real you know, instance, but we'll see you know, all these DEX and how these DEX are available, uh, monitoring deeper insights. Uh, and I'll, uh, let me, let me um, quickly show you, let me, let me jump out of the presentation. And what you see here is the, the analytics, you know, Oracle analytics presentation, of course, log me out. Uh, but what you see here, let me let me try to yeah. So what you see here is Oracle Analytics for applications. Okay, I will have my favorite cards. I will have my favorite links, and based out of favorite cards, I will click on the favorite card. I will take me to decks. Okay, so what you see here are are uh, you know different decks uh, for for <laughs> the different um, you know uh, modules. Uh, basically, again talking about uh, um, ERP modules here, uh, which are uh, APAR, uh, uh, GL. Um, and, and this is something that, you know, we can, we can expand the, and you can see the KPI, a description, a brief description, what are related links, which is the analysis of that, um, you know, good information of, of, of different things that are here around that. And, um, you know, going into the hamburger, I'm gonna also gonna have the KPIs that are available. And these are KPIs that are available here that I can even create, you know, okay? And you will see, you know, all the different KPIs that are available. Now, you know, here in projects, if I click on projects, you're going to see that, and I'm quickly going to move here, you see here that it's analytics for applications, and I, it open up these analytics. So what it's actually doing on the back end, it's moving and taking me to Oracle Analytics Cloud. Okay, so which is the foundation of the analytics for applications, okay? And here, I'm gonna be working just like Oracle Analytics, okay? I'm gonna be able to create a project and, and I'm gonna be able to work on that. Now, the, the benefit of running on this um, is that I will have you know, the subject areas, which are um, the subject areas of uh, Fusion um, uh, ERP analytics, okay? So I'm gonna be able to, to to navigate through the data, the subject areas and to the, the sets, uh, which later on I can build my own reports and, and my own um, um, analysis. Um, uh, now here, you know, you see here, like this is, this is you know, uh, uh, um, my, my turnover analysis that I was playing around with. Uh, and, and this is jumping into the technology. So from analytics for application, jumping into the analytics, um, um, analytics cloud, which is you know the the, the foundation and the, the technical side of things. Now on these, and, and this is important, I'm gonna be able to work around on this and start working with data, okay? And start working with data sources. So I'm gonna be able to you know, add data sources, okay? And combine those data sources uh, with existing data from my ERP cloud uh, uh, application, okay? Um, you know, a very easy navigation, very easy to work with, okay? Now, going back to the presentation, okay? Uh, uh, what what if, if I want to extend, you know, and 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 focusing on this extending with more, how that works? Well, you know, we will have this is a combination, and and this is a couple of things that will have, you have to keep in mind in terms of 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 this. Um, you know, 
on one side uh, of things with the, the, the licensing or the subscription uh, to, to the product and the other is, you know, uh, in terms of the technical uh, aspects of that. Um, on, 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 your, on your left side, we'll have Cloud ERP, okay? And all the, you know, pre-built content, pre-built and managed by Oracle keeping us all secure with the synchronization of the uh, product releases um, and all the connectors, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if we want to work uh, with external data, what we will have to do is we will have to work on a custom schema, okay? I'm building these you know, ETLs to load the data from a third party solution, uh, and any source, any source that you can imagine, but going into a different custom schema and working with your own semantic model and your own custom KPIs, okay? Um, everything, you know, all, all the data will be in the Oracle external ADW, and then all these, you know, KPIs, et cetera, are gonna be done through the Oracle Analytics Cloud, okay? Um, so this is how you will manage if you want to extend and again adapt to your business need. A couple of things that to mention here that I don't want to miss: uh, uh, every user of FAW Fusion Analytics Warehouse has pre-built content to that. Uh, uh, you can you can build and get external content. Um, um, you 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 have one of the the license for FAW is based on users, okay? Um, and if you want, you know, there's two instances for FAW, a production and a test instance, just like following the um, um, uh, the the same logic of SaaS solutions. Um, then um, you know um, you have. Uh, you know, each module has a specific uh, uh, subject area, accessible to the subscribe user, as I show you there when, when I was going through Analytics Cloud and, and jumping into that. Um, FAW, when you license and you subscribe to FAW, it, it's including OAC and ADW, okay, as part of non-meter, okay. Uh, now, if you want to scale and if you want to 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 use your um, your own data sources, then you will have to uh, subscribe through um, 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 a meter service for that. Okay, and that's the difference between you know what is included in FAW and what if you want to go in the route of tailoring and adapting to your business need. Okay. Um, Couple of things on what's going on now uh, with FAW. Okay, these are some of the features and 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 what are the things that we see Oracle continues uh, adding. You know, many things that are they have been adding to FAW. Um, and I mentioned to you how this works and how this you know you can get it started. Okay, so now you know self-service. You know, getting this to your users you know, 15 plus uh, ERP pre-built pre subject areas that are available as I show you in the in the demo. Um, but in terms of what the, the, the project implementation looks like, um, these are weeks, okay? And this is how we typically work with uh, our customers. Um, you, know, you know, provisioning, training, custom development, you know, just tailoring uh, and developing, and then the production run. Basically, what it takes is these three steps, okay, in terms of provisioning. Talking about global parameters, the reporting parameters, and then um, the, the desired functional area, okay, how we're going to be running that, how we're going to be refreshing that in ADW, and then um, all the, you know, refresh history and time of that. Um, little fast here, a lot of information, but, you know, couple of things on, on this to wrap up, okay? ADW, a key component on all these different products that you have seen on, on, the, on the technical side of things. Um, it's, it's a data foundation for all the analytics platform. 
um, um, and 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 you know I will invite you to try you know and in a in a trial try to to test it. I'm sure you're gonna love this product. Then we have next, which is the analytics cloud. Okay, with all these different components and and it's it's what we will say is the the actual a complete analytic solution uh, bringing you know these three levels of augmented analytics self-service analytic and govern analytics what we see today as part of the agile and the agility that we have and when i started my presentation we, i talk about the agility of the business and how you know what's the biggest challenge well that's that's what we need to focus on as part of a solution team um you know uh, from you know data sets to enterprise ap uh, applications that are feeding the data uh, and how you know we we need to manage this data manage and analytic solution needs to be an you know aligned with this agility and how we present to our users, giving them the chance to, not only from a technical perspective, giving us the ability to uh, be more scalable, uh, but giving the users the ability to have the information on their fingers, in, on their fingertips, uh, on, on a performance, with the right performance to do their job. To do their business and make you know make the right decision at the right time. Now, jumping into you know what we see in terms of of business and 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 the business, uh, how you know the ones that are running the business and the ones that are guiding the business. Okay, across all our business users, how we see that you know uh, cloud ERP, embedded reporting financial reporting center and we're going to see a little bit about epm and and running reports you know the transaction business intelligence is going to be embedded on the cloud erp we see a next step which is in the in the middle with epm okay which is the financial consolidations narrative reporting or planning and then you know we see an evolution of the analytics with Oracle Fusion Analytics, ERP Analytics, and all the suite of analytics that are going to be coming with FAW, which is a package analytics self self service data discovery, which with all that will set you know the 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 spectrum of that. Uh, one last slide to kind of like okay, what's you know with questions, what is the you know what we see in terms of modernizing your analytics, whether it's with Oracle Analytics Server, with Oracle Analytics Cloud, and with with FAW, okay, which, you know, how how we are thinking on this, okay. Um, if, you know, your customer, your, your company needs to be managed well, you know, this is where Oracle Analytics uh, Server will make more sense. But when you say, okay, you want to keep managing by going into the cloud, it's going to be a little bit about Oracle application server running on OI, uh, or Oracle cloud infrastructure, and then moving more towards um, uh, cloud and, and cloud SaaS solution. Uh, we see more towards the Oracle Analytics cloud and FAW. Um, with that, I think I have a, you know, we'll leave a, a, a few minutes for, for q and I don't see you guys, Johnny, uh, Christian. Uh, um, we're here. Okay. I don't know how we're doing on time. I want we're, to leave a few. <clears throat> no, no, we're, we're very good on time. You're 100% you're perfectly on time, literally on the minute. <laughs> okay. No, thanks. Great. Thanks so much uh, for this presentation. It was a really, really good one. I really, really enjoyed this overview. And I think um, <clears throat> having the same discussions with my clients constantly, I think this is something that's seriously underestimated by clients and by integrators, as in the people just don't know what they're running and how they should be running in it. 
most importantly and sadly, what could they actually be doing with it in terms of how could they actually profit from it and leverage their investment in the best way and not say, oh, I don't actually know what I'm running. I need to buy another product that does exactly. this. Yeah. And I'm like, no, so you right. don't. No, yeah. you don't. So right. <laughs> you have it's it. So, exactly. Exactly. And I, I completely agree with you. And sometimes, you know, the pressure of a sales organization makes you take sometimes wrong decisions like, okay, subscribing to a product or buying a new product when you probably have under your existing portfolio, mm -hmm. the solution to your users. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately. And I mean, you, you mentioned a couple of very, very important points and, and it all comes down to, well, first of all, you have it already. But second of all, think about all the integration time that you waste. Think of, about all the security that you need to redo again and again and again. And new proprietary data storages with different data types, with different data formats, Actually. the know-how that you need to accumulate and build in order to do this. It's just... Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, we, we, we definitely need this kind of content to reach clients and to reach projects. Uh, so in order for them to actually realize this, they, because most of them, they don't even realize that this is an issue. They're just used to buying new stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And, and you, what you need to think uh, uh, is that now with SaaS, and you know, we're talking about Oracle SaaS applications, but it could also applied to ServiceNow or Salesforce, you're well, getting course. you're getting updates, you know, because it's more agile to deploy, yes. you know, an app, a, a new release in the cloud. So keeping analytics running on top of that, it's a constant work that you need to be ahead of that and and you need to plan um, uh, thoughtfully to make it worth the investment. Mm -hmm. so, oh yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Make it worth the investment. Actually, get something for your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'll, I'll, I really, I really enjoyed this one. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank you <laughs> yeah. for the invitation, Christian, Gianni, and and Francesco. I know you've been chasing me a lot to submit the paper. I'm sorry. I, you know, we're all busy in this new normal. Um, yes. running from call to call, from virtual meeting to virtual meeting. So uh, thank you from very Zoom much for the invitation. Uh, this is a great initiative. Um, you know, keep it up, you know, keep it doing. It's, it's great for the community and for everyone. Thanks so much. Thank you.